Hey guys, today I have a two pack of a mini smart socket. So this is a two pack. Um, this is how it comes. It's fairly small, fairly basic packaging. Uh, nice design though. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. And here are our, our instructions. Alright, so let's see how we can get this guy set up. We can download the Tuya Smart app. Um, actually, today we are going to hook this up to our Google account, and I've kind of done this on other devices as well. So we're going to set it up with both Alexa and Google Home, uh, uh, and Tuya Smart and Smart Life are actually kind of the same app, and they work exactly the same. So we're gonna start by doing that so other than that this is what our plug looks like it can go up to 10 amps at 125 volts AC and it is three prong so it's ground on off button or you can do it remotely on the app so let's go ahead and check out how to get this working with both Google Home and the Alexa Echo Dot. All right, so to set this guy up, we are going to plug it in. Very simple. And then there's going to be this light blinking on the side, and that's going to tell you that it's ready to be set up. So now let's go ahead and set it up in the app. Alright, so we're going to start by opening up the Smart Life app, even though it kind of says use Tuya Smart in the directions, we're going to use the Smart Life app. And in the top right hand corner, we're going to go to the plus symbol, and we're going to add an electrical outlet. And then once we see the light blinking on the device we're going to confirm that we see it blinking You're going to enter your Wi-Fi password hit confirm and it will start loading for you and it's basically searching for any devices that are blinking so you can add multiple if you want all right once it's added you can hit this edit feature and rename it so I named it kitchen because uh, this is going to be the name that you are actually telling your Alexa or your Google Home Assistant what it is. So if you say, Alexa, turn on the kitchen, this is how you just will make that name change. So we hit done. And now we have the option to turn it on and turn it off. And you should be hearing a click for like a relay inside of the switch when you do this. And if you hear that click, then you are all set up and good to go. Now we just need to add this to your Alexa app and add it to your Google Home. Once you get into the Google Home app, you are going to hit the settings, go to Home Control, and this is going to bring you to your devices, which it will show you. So let's go ahead and you can see my smart life options here. We have the Octopi, Dining Room, Garage 1 and 2. And we want to go to the plus sign here on the bottom right. Hit that. And then you can see smart life is here and it says it has four devices. However, if you have not added a smart life device yet, you can scroll down here and it should be around smart living. You should see that smart life and then add it. It's going to ask you to sign in. So if I check for new devices, it's going to ask me to sign in, I believe. So go ahead and sign in and it will sync your account. So in the Alexa app, we are going to want to go from the home page over to our skills. And we need to add the smart life skill to our Alexa. So we will go to skills and you can search the skills for smart life 
and go ahead and open that.